guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you another FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Road to Shamazing. And if you haven't watched the first episode, you should definitely go back and watch the first episode of this video to see what it's based around. I can pretty much sum it up, though, as I have built a team around De Natale. I chose one card that I bought with my coins from my old club that I had deleted. And then I went out, I'm building a team around him. It's kind of like an Italian national team. Um, I was able to pick up Bocchetti, though. That was one of the players that I needed to get because I definitely needed some more center backs. Um, I also believe I took a look at some other cards, but right now I don't have that many coins. I have 1,369 coins. And so um, right now I'm kind of just like putting little fillers out there and I'm trying to bid on cards and seeing if I can get good deals on them. But unfortunately for me, I'm not able to get as many deals as I'd like. Um, I also went ahead and started trying to bid on Gambarini. I believe I ended up having to do a buy now on Gambarini, or maybe I outbid somebody. Finally, they gave up. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the case was on that. But I'm looking for some center backs. I also need some center mids. They seem to be a little bit of a more expensive position. I'm in a 4-3-3 formation, so the Italian center mids... Um, they're up more in the range of like three to somewhere like 10,000 coins. You can obviously you can get like Pirlo for way more than that. But I also looked at um, Abate at the right back position, but he is also a little pricey. I tried to do a little bit of bidding on him. Um, unfortunately for me though, the one that I bid on was like, it was really awesome. It was like low at 300 coins. But as you know, when it gets to like the last minute, um, it doesn't ever work out that way. So we were able to pick up Bocchetti. That gave us an Italian center back, which was exactly what I needed. Um, and then for my other center back, I believe I could not afford Gambarini at this time. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what I ended up doing here. Now I'm looking for my right back. There's my Abate. There you are. And you see there, he's like 150 coins. So I'm like, dang, that's going to be a great deal. There wasn't that much time left on it. So I didn't imagine that someone would outbid me. But I believe they end up outbidding me anyway. I think I need a left back as well, at least one that's in formation, and um, I decided to pick up just for like now, until I can get a Bate, I decided to pick up this right back, which is Berenetti. Um So that's how the Italian team's going so far. I come up against my first team, right now you can take a look, um, I believe we have all Italians except for one. One of our center mids is the Spanish player, Herrera. Um, I know I sound so funny when I say Italian and Spanish names, but we're going to go into the next match. This is our third match of Division 5. Now, the first match was a total blowout. The second match, he quit after I went up one goal to nil. I have no idea why he'd quit. There was plenty of time left. I believe we are in like the 16th minute. Um, I've got like a CDM of their playing center mid. See, I really need to fill these center mid positions. There's a lot of guys out of formation. And I definitely need to get another center back and left back because... For me, the defense is just crucial, um, especially as I'm going to start moving on into these higher divisions, only for the fact that once I get to like Division 3, it's going to become pure sweat fest. If I didn't remember correctly, in Division 1, it was just ridiculous how much I got sweated against. But anyway, the team is shaping up well. This is not going to be like the final squad. I'm obviously going to try to get higher and better Italian players. Um, and then the players that I have for now, I'm going to put them on the bench. I end up, though, in my next match coming up against this team right here, which is uh, more of a Brazilian team. I thought they were going to be really good, actually. I was kind of scared with this game because he had 100 chemistry with a 79-rated Brazilian team, which is usually, to me, very pacey and really hard to work against. But I started the game really strongly here. I get a really nice shot on goal, and this is, like, within the first, you know, 33 minutes or something like that. Um, so it's been a while, I haven't scored, and I end up getting a goal with Ando Herrera, my only Spanish player on the team. I guess he decided to come out of nowhere. He's got terrible chemistry. I have no idea how he decided to make that header, but he finally put me ahead. I was getting a little, you know, I don't know. At this time, I believe this guy, he had like a mic on, so it was really annoying me for one. And then I was getting frustrated because I had like, at the end of this game, maybe 16 shots on goal, 8 on target, and a lot of them would not go in. But to add insult to injury, like directly after that happening, I get a nice uh, through ball to El Sharawe, and he was able to just get a disgusting shot on goal. That keeper had no chance in saving it. And then not too long after that, um, I decided to take a shot on goal there that was not even really possible. But then right here, I make a cut inside the box. And of course, he trips me up. And whenever you get tripped up, that brings you to a penalty shot, which was pretty awesome. I mean, I was already up two to nil. So what this would do is it was pretty much, it would put a nail in the coffin. I wouldn't have to worry about it. And more times than none, they're never going to stop this. I love going up the middle. I know that's like my trick. And if y'all ever play me, you're going to know. But I get Di Natale a, another goal, at least for this team. 
and that puts me up 3-0. I wasn't really scared at this point. I played the complete second half with like no cares in the world. And I was trying to do trick shots and stuff like that. Oh, right here, you see, eight. this is at half. 15 shots on goal, eight on target, and I've only scored three goals. Um, and so I start fiddling around here. I have no idea how this happened, by the way. This is like FIFA AIDS at its finest. Luis Fabiano, you got so lucky right there. I just want to throw that out there. I, my guy just touched the ball and then just let it roll back to the keeper and the keeper didn't even get it. He scored. Either way, we end the match three to one. I completely dominated the match. I have already moved on to division four, but I really want to win the division five title. You know, I'm hungry. Whenever you're winning and you're doing well, you don't want to just stop at that. You are hungry. You want to get a Division 5 title. I pick up Balzaretti. <laughs> I think that's how you say his name. Balzaretti. Um, I pick up Balls already. And he's going to fill in the position of my left back position. Not to mention, I get Montalivo, um, who is another center mid. I was definitely looking for center mids. I now have the entire Italian team, which is exactly what I needed. Um, I don't have the Spanish player any longer, and I'm going to go ahead and be able to now build around this, either get better players, um, definitely get rid of that center defensive mid, and get rid of that center back, maybe put them on the bench, but get some guys in formation and get some guys in the right position, and that'll help me whenever it comes to Division 4 and Division 3, where it starts to get a little bit harder. I come up against this team, though, for the Division 5 title, and my god, all I can think in my mind is this is going to be one sweaty, disgusting team. Look at the right side. Just look at the right side of that team, and it makes you want to cry. Um, fortunately for me though, apparently this guy did not know how to sweat. I get pretty much wide open right here uh, for a header. It didn't end up working out, but somehow I was able to get into the box. First game for Montalivo, he was able to score a goal for me, so he was definitely worth the pickup. I mean, if a guy, if you get him and he scores in the very first game he plays in, you know he's worth it. He does it with his left foot there. And then not too long after that, I get wide open for another shot on goal here, and this guy's done. He was so mad after this. This is dumb easy. Um, he was so mad after this, of course he rage quit. I see this happening all the time and I never experienced this in FIFA until now, Division 5. Maybe even Division 4 will happen, but that's going to be it for this episode of Road to Shamazing. We have won the Division 5 title, we are moving on to Division 4. Don't forget to check out the next episode, whenever it comes out probably next week. Like, comment, subscribe on this video, and until next time, get fang bang nerds.